What's going on YouTube family? Fitness Blog Night 3 here. Hope you're all doing well. Now, a few weeks back, uh, probably about two or three weeks, I actually did a Q&A on my YouTube channel, obviously on this channel. Go and check out the video. Got quite a few views on it, but I didn't get as many comments on the actual video itself. I mainly got comments through Twitter or from Instagram. But that's where most of my, like, I'm always posting on my daily, so I've got more followers. So, um, yeah, without further ado, here to answer the questions what I got. So, um, I'll be naming a couple of guys out who are on the YouTube, who answered obviously the YouTube, but then the Twitter names which have answered, which I've sent me answers, uh, sent me questions, are kind of like really long Twitter names, I'm not really going to say them, so sorry about that, but YouTube channels, I'm definitely going to shout you out. So, the first question we've got is from Dutch Guy Fitness. Before I answer your question as well, props to you, because um, obviously you've just released, if you don't know who he is, he, um, obviously a fitness YouTuber, he's just released a video about steroids. And he's actually just outed on himself, but he actually he's took him before. So, absolutely full respect for you for actually saying that. So, yeah, props to you. Anyway, back to the question. So, what made you decide to start a YouTube channel? Well, obviously I've, I've been to my fitness uh, for quite a few times now, for quite a few years. And I kind of needed something to push me a bit more. Um, push my intensity and everything. And I've obviously watched like people on YouTube, like the Hodge Twins. Um, saw their funny side to it, saw like how they actually was teaching people how to do like chest and back days and stuff like that. Um, then I found, um, I think I believe I was just like searching Z, searching aesthetics, and I came across Sean Thompson TV. Uh, shout out to you as well, I know you watch the videos. So I came across his channel, and then I found like how he was actually, I believe he's a year younger than me, how he is like, I'll just say the same age, how he's like the same age as me, and he's like having fun recording all this stuff in the gym, he's helping people out, he's getting sponsorships and stuff like that. And I thought it was really cool how he can do it and he's like doing like, at the time I was at university, so I thought it was really cool how he was like proving that he could still do it. Um, obviously that related to, to me, I'm not at university but I am at work. So it related to like always being able to put time in, um, having fun while you're doing it and obviously being able to film stuff at the same time and I saw it as like a progress way as well. Obviously I came across AJ Aesthetics from like, um, from one of their videos because they did a collab. So them two doing the exact same thing, except they obviously went at uni. Um, I believe at that point James um, had just come out of the army. So and then obviously Dodds, Ash Dodds, where he were like a personal trainer. So they were obviously still working, but then obviously doing fitness as well. And it was just kind of showing you that you can still work hard, and then you can obviously do your fitness at times and still enjoy it. So I thought it was really cool, and I liked how everyone were getting a following, and I liked how they were helping people as well. And obviously, when they're helping people out, they're getting people like supporting them. So I thought it was a really, really cool idea how to do it, and I thought, you know what, they can do it. Why can't I do it? Let's give it a shot. Obviously, grab my phone, got a tripod, and start filming. And obviously, my channel boosted, growing up and growing up and growing up. And yeah, and then obviously my goals have changed through the time. They kind of kept the same, but obviously my goals have got bigger and bigger over the time. So yeah, that's really why I decided to start a YouTube channel, is I um, thought it was a cool idea, liked how it was kind of like a fun idea, and then obviously I could chart my progress. Um, obviously you can chart your progress through taking pictures and stuff, but when you're taking videos you can see like how you do, say like a bench press, you can see like what's going on in your bench, like if you're lifting more with your right arm and your left arm like I did, then you can obviously see that and correct it. So yeah, that's why I started the YouTube channel, obviously at the same point as me chart my progress, I wanted to help as many people out as possible. So yeah, cheers for that question. Um, Timmy T Rex, he's obviously another YouTuber. What is your main goal for 2016? My main goal for 2016 is to try and make my YouTube channel as, well, I'd say as best as possible, but not as best as possible because obviously I want to improve it so much and so much. But there's not really such a thing as a perfect YouTube channel because you can constantly upgrade, you can constantly get better and better and better. So basically, for 2016, I want to make my YouTube channel better and better and better. I want to get my subscribers higher. I want to try and get a thousand subscribers by the end of 2016. I know that's a lot because people's main goal is normally like 500. Um, obviously, yeah, 500 I want to get, but I want to try and push myself a bit further and get a thousand. If I can do that, it's going to be sorry, it's going to be really hard work, but hard work and determination and putting time and effort in, you're going to be able to do it. There's a, there's a, one of my, if you know who TTT is, if you don't, go check them out, Terrible Twins. They used to be like really, they still are when we're in the gym, they've got the really focus on the gym of a really intense and that. And they used to be like a really intense YouTube channel. Now I've actually started on like um, being really, really positive and being, I forgot the word for it now. They're trying to inspire people basically. Um, so yeah, they, they, they've got kind of saying what they said a while back. Like basically, they've got the same, well everyone, everyone has got the same hours a day. So everyone's got 24 hours a day. And if you look at yourself, 
You've got the same hours in the day as uh, Richard Branson, who's become a multi-millionaire, multi-billionaire like franchise and <laughs> all the girls and everything. He's set and done. Like same for whoever. I'm, yeah, like Christian Guzman. He's a fitness guy, so say him. Christian Guzman. He has got the exact same hours in the day as I have. He's got 24 hours in a day. Yet he makes. He's like he's achieved so much at the same age. So it kind of makes me think like. Obviously, I know a thousand subscribers is going to be very hard to get, but I've got the same amount of hours in a day as he has, and look at what he has achieved. If I put my hard work and dedication into that, getting up early, like I thought, sir, even if you got up at seven o'clock in the morning, if you get up at six o'clock, that is an extra hour to your day what you can do, something you can achieve in. I'm going to try and get up at four o'clock in the morning and not go to bed until like until like twelve, one o'clock. It'll probably, it'll probably be like twelve, obviously, if you get up before I need four hours of sleep at least, and try and basically. Put as much hard work. And another thing, what Arnold Schwarzenegger used to say, everyone says you need seven hours of sleep minimum a day. The thing he used to turn around and say is sleep faster. So yeah, may go on. I've bambled on a bit there. Main goal: two hundred sixteen. Try and get my YouTube and my social media up as possible. Like try and get a thousand subscribers. And it is basically the main, main, main goal. Type of thing: two hundred sixteen. Um, may goal: two hundred fifteen. Sorry, it says not two hundred sixteen. Um, into 2016 is body power 2016. My main goal is I want to get my body prepped up. I want to get I want to get my physique on point for body power 2016. So yeah. Um, S1 Fitness. How long have you been training for? Well, um, I've been training altogether. I've, I've, I used to do PE in school, like that's physical education, like sports in America. We call it gym, um, but it wasn't really a, a gym. It was basically we did like um, fitness things, just like track day, like track and field, um, and then played round as baseball stuff, so I always was like, kind of like a fit person. When I was 14 to, well when I was about 12 I started doing like bits of martial arts and stuff, when I was 14 to the age of 16 I did martial arts, extreme martial arts and free running and parkour and everything like that. If you don't know what free running is, basically it's the same as parkour where you've got to get from A to B by jumping over obstacles by coming over any obstacle in your path, but free running, you add a bit more flair, like doing do flips and back flips, side flips, B twists and everything like that. So that's kind of when I first got into some type of physical activity like that. I've rode motorbikes before, which is quite physical, but um, yeah, that's the first time I ever like pushed my body to the limit and kind of like you had to take a lot of strength from that to get over obstacles. But as far as the actual gym, um, the first time I actually stepped foot in a gym was when I was 15 years old. Um, I only set foot in and it was one day, which was PE lesson, put me on a bench press, I couldn't even lift the bar off my chest, I was so nerdy, boom, that's what I looked like back then, so I couldn't even lift anything, so that was the first day in, I managed to pull myself up, I could pull my body weight up so easily, like doing pull ups and chin ups and everything, I could do that so easily, I could have been for days, uh, but I didn't weigh much, I was like, really anorexic, so... Yeah, that was the first day I stepped foot in the gym, but then I didn't step foot in the gym again for ages, obviously did free and stuff, stopped doing that. And then it was literally two, two and a half years ago I said, when obviously I looked like this. So, looked like that, started the gym with, I'm going to move to the side actually so you can see a couple of pictures flipping up. Um, started the gym with my mate Ash Ward, obviously at AW Evolve, check him out, YouTube channel, shout out to him. Started the, fit, started the fitness industry the gym with him. Um, trained three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and we didn't really have a strict, we didn't have a regime or whatever. Um, we just basically trained every single body part for three days a week. So yeah, that's the first time I got into the gym properly, which was two years ago, two and a half years ago. But really, as far as how long I've been training properly, I've been training properly for a year, but then the full intensity that I'm working at now, that's probably been for the last seven or eight months now, where I've actually been putting hard work in. But Every single time I go into the gym now, I'm not staying at the same weight. I'm trying to up myself more and more and more and more. And I'm trying to learn new things in the gym just to try and push myself to the limit. So yeah, all together I've been training properly in the gym for about two and a half years. Um, past six, seven months I've been doing it full intensity. Like obviously you see on my channel. So now these are a couple of questions I got from tweets and Instagram. So what is your favourite favorite movement for building a wider, a wider back? A wider back, yeah. Favorite move for the uh, favorite movement for creating a wider back. So obviously that's like put that there. Right, yeah, if you wonder what I'm reading off for anyway, it's like the tablet. Um, oh my girlfriend's tablet. Yeah, when you're on about a wider back, it's obviously when you go like that and you got your lats and create like your V. My favorite movement. Not many people know about it. Obviously, the most common one is wide grip pull-ups. I can't do pull-ups to save my life. Obviously, I weigh quite a bit. 
And if I know that's not an excuse, I'm going to try and do it. And but my most favourite favourite exercise, not many people know about it, I'm going to do a video on it properly, but it's a full range of movement, lateral pull. Now what that is, is I've got a different way of doing it, which is the same as Rich Piana, um, compared to how most people do it. Now what, most, uh, most I can't talk today, most people usually have like the D attachment, obviously when you're using your chest flies, and obviously you've got your fly cables, or your cable machine. What I do is go on one side, go on the other side, literally pulling down, Literally just pull it across my body and down, and you squeeze your lats down. Now that, so seriously, but I don't think there's anything better than that for creating a wider back. Because if you're pulling down with your lats, if you're pulling down with your elbows, don't use your biceps. Completely take your biceps out of the equation, and you just pull down with your, with your elbows and squeeze at the back. Jesus Christ, you will great. You will, your back will get so much wider with that. So I will actually do a video on that as well for you, um, showing you my way of doing it, showing you the normal way, showing you my way. And Rich Bjorn's way, obviously. So yeah, that's that's like my favourite moment for that. <sighs> Have you ever thought about taking steroids? If so, which ones would you recommend? <laughs> I'm not the guy to come for that. Um, I wouldn't recommend them. Uh, I'm not slating anyone. Anyone who anyone takes steroids, takes steroids, fair enough. Um, as long as they're not. Most people take steroids. Um, there's a few people on YouTube obviously saving that here or not, but if that's them, then that's them. Um, would I recommend taking steroids? Personally, I wouldn't, but if, if like I said, I'm not slating anyone, if you are taking steroids, fair do see it as long as you put in hard, hard work and dedication in still, which to be honest with you, a lot of people who take steroids are. Like, people think it's easier, it's not. If you are taking steroids, you're still pushing yourself to the limit, you've got to do it for in order for them to work. Like same as you're taking, like if you're taking a cutting type of steroid, like say clenbuterol, you've still got to have your diet on point. So it don't make it any easier. But um, yeah, as far as steroids, I've ever thought about them. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely thought about taking steroids. Now, when I first got into the gym, no, didn't think about it whatsoever. But obviously, when you see the picture of there and you see the picture of there of what I used to and what I look like when I'm in the gym, pumped up, you can see the transformation. That's natural. That is definitely natural. I can all my up. That is definitely natural. But, the reason why I thought about taking steroids before is seeing yourself go from back to back, it makes you think like, what the fuck would I look like if I had steroids? That kind of transformation. So I did think about steroids. Now, as far as what steroids did I, what did you say? Yeah, which steroids did I think about taking? Trembolone Ace, which is well, obviously there's Trembolone m and Trembolone Acetate. I thought about taking Trembolone Ace because it's obviously the most potent steroid out there. Um, it's obviously if you put testosterone on one, I might get this a little bit wrong, but if you put testosterone on one scale and, and trembolone ace on another scale, your testosterone is any fucking trends through the roof. Like it's the most potent drug you can get. And the benefits from it is just ridiculous. Like obviously you get there's no water retention on it, um, your body just it's just weird how it works, it's it's the best for it. Um as far as taking this I'll say cycle, um the cycle I'm going to do is like basically three days a week I would have done it and I would have, I think it's, I can't remember milligrams now. But basically yeah, I didn't think about that, that would be trend, that would to build the muscle. And then obviously to strip fat down with Clen, Clenbuterol. If you don't know what that is, Clen was originally used for people who have got really bad respir res respiration problems, so really hard at breathing. If you actually look at the back of an asthma pump, it has got Clen in but a small dose. Because it helps you breathing. It's really good for your card cardiovascular type of thing. But if you take Clen, it like kind of like your heart rate goes so high and you can have um, you can have bad heart problems or bad blood pressure problems. So Clen basically drops your fat so much. So it was originally made to like make you better at breathing, but one of the huge things from it, huge side effects from it, is you just drop fat so quick. Like you can literally win about four weeks to take a Clen. You fucking you look like athletic. So if you put in hard work and if your diet's right first of all, if you if you take a clean, but your diet's shit, you'll see a little bit of a difference, but you won't see it properly, you've got to take a proper diet still. So that's what I mean, it's still hard for you to do. Now the reason why I didn't take a milk, so obviously like I said, I'm not on steroids. The reason why I didn't is because if you look up like I have done so much research on it, I'm not the kind of guy I'll just think, oh yeah, let's do this other people take it, I'll do it. No. Um Really bad side effects of Trembolone Ace Acetate is obviously you get your train cough, so literally about 10 minutes after you've injected yourself, you start coughing and you feel like you're going to die. It's a really bad symptom to it. Um, another symptom is you will get night sweats, so obviously you'll be asleep and you'll be sweating your ass off in bed. Um, you get tremors, 
uh, basically you start shaking all the time, that's a really bad side effect to clang as well. Then on tremble over days, you basically have paranoia and sleep paralysis. I actually suffer from sleep paralysis now and again, and this is natural. I'm saying that I'm not steroids, so I'm not steroids, so I'm not getting it from that. When I was younger, I used to have nightmares about people in the corner of my room trying to get me. I used to have sleep paralysis. If you don't know what sleep sleep paralysis is, it's basically you've got a demonic figure, like a demon, on your chest, pushing you down, screaming and shouting at you, and you cannot scream, shout, move, or anything. You're paralysed. So that's something that you get from Tremble and Ace at times. Not everyone has it, but it's a really big thing that you can get. So yeah, obviously you don't want that. Colin, reasons why I don't want that is um, obviously side effects, good side effects, unbelievable, but bad side effects. You get um, you get the shakes now and again, that lasts for a couple of, like a week or so and then it goes like, but um, not many people really know about the long term effects, it's not really written down properly because not many people have been on it for that long, like a long time. Um, but basically, if you've got bad heart problems, like in my dad's side of the family, my male side, there's always like, there's heart disease, there's, um, there's cancer, there's obviously um, heart attacks and everything like that, high blood pressure. No fucking way am I going to take a steroid, which makes your heart blood pressure go high up as fuck when it already runs from my side of the family. Hopefully I'll not do it, because I'm the only male in my family to ever be fit, to ever be into exercise, to ever take care of my fitness. So hopefully I'm not going to get anything like that, but yeah, so that's the reason why I didn't want it. I just don't want to fuck my body up. And if you take it at 21, fucking hell. Yeah, you could, you're going to fuck yourself up eventually. Anyway, will you be at Body Power 2016? Yep, um, I definitely will be by the looks of it. I've already said like previously, but um, I should be on the stand with um, Jim Seven. It's going to be the first time we're ever going to be at an expo. So Jim Seven should be having their own stand there. There's going to be a few other people there. Um, a couple of other YouTubers maybe. Um, so yeah, definitely be at Body Power 2016. Should be on the stand for Jim Seven. Um, any tips for getting sponsored? That's pretty good. I've seen I've said, said that on. Any tips for getting sponsored? Yeah. Um, really good tip for you. Here's one second. Let me see if this is off focus. Hoping to God it is on focus. Yeah. Yeah, so any tips for getting sponsored? Yeah, definitely. Um, as far as getting sponsored, you want to be able to have a likability effect, but you do not want to be a fake. You want to be natural, you want to be the person who you are, you don't want to be a fake person. No, definitely not. You want to be who you are. Because the moment they want to sponsor you, and the moment you turn around and meet them, they'll be like, what the fuck? Is that, is that who I'll be watching? So yeah, don't be fake, that's one. Another tip for you, do not brand hop. I know that's kind of going, I'm kind of like, I want to say it's me being hypocritical, because I don't know it now, but before I got with Jim Seven, obviously if you look ages and ages ago, you will have seen me wearing different brands. I didn't want to get sponsored by either brand, I just like wearing different clothes, I like wearing different brands of that, whichever were cheapest to buy that then. So another thing for you, if you want to be sponsored, do not brand hop. If you want to be sponsored, you need to go for a company, <coughs> Jim Seven, yeah, who you believe in their ethos, who has got the same type of outlook on fitness and life as you have, and someone who you truly believe in. That's why I'm with Jim Seven, because they're all about creating a family, they're all about helping you, they're all about promoting you, and they're all about starting from the bottom of the building, basically working up. So you want to create, you want to go with someone who you really like, and you like their ethos and like everything about them. Don't brand hop. This is a really big thing, don't, don't brand hop. If you like a company, say you with Jim, say you like Jim Seven, yeah, you should do, should do. If you like Jim Seven, wear their apparel, only wear their apparel. Really, really big tip for you: Instagram, photos, videos, YouTube, whatever, everything like that. If you are taking a picture, wear your Jim Seven stuff. Wear your whatever sponsor it is. I'm just saying Jim Seven. If you're wearing Jim Seven stuff, wear it in all your pictures. Now, what I would do for you, Goody Beats does this. I do it, and a lot of other people do it. Not, well, not many people do it, but I know Goody Beats does it, definitely, and I do it. Now, Goody Beats fucking photos are unbelievable, say it does myself. Get your camera, go out to different places, don't matter where it is, it could be on a bridge, it could be in front of a bus stop, it could be at the gym, it could be anywhere. Go and get the brand on you, wear the brand, and go take some photos and send them off to them. Put them on your, put them on your Twitter and tag them in it. Even if they're not going to retweet it, just seriously, do, 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 keep doing it. Because they will notice it, they'll notice that you're doing all this off of, off of your own back and you will get sponsored, trust me. Fucking trust me because it works so much. Obviously when you do get sponsored, keep doing it. So yeah, be yourself, don't cross brand. I've seen people wearing one fucking sponsor on one side and another sponsor on the red and different stuff like that, stupid. Um, but yeah, if you want it to be sponsored by one particular person, don't cross brand. Um, 
be yourself, like I said, I've probably already said that, but yeah, be yourself, it's mostly part of one. And go out and show them why they should sponsor you. Because at the end of the day, a sponsor is only going to sponsor you if you can earn them money. So you've got to show them why they should sponsor you and not someone else. The other thing, last question. What are your long-term goals in the fitness industry? Yeah. Christian Guzman, basically. I know it sounds daft, but you look at Christian Guzman and you look at what he's achieved. You look at, he's obviously got his own gym. He's got a BW5. That's my dream car, the car he's got. He's just living a life and he's got his own clothing brand coming up now. Now, I don't want to do my own clothing brand. Don't, just, don't want to do it. Not interested in that. I've done it before. Um, not interested anymore with that. But yeah, my long term goals is I want to be able to. You've obviously seen. If you've seen my channel before, you know that I'm all about creating a legacy. Not the Ziz's legacy, because that's Ziz's legacy. But I want to create a legacy of my own. I want to help and inspire as many people. Obviously, that's where it comes into a legacy like Ziz kind of thing. I want to help as many people and inspire people to get into fitness. But obviously, I want to get, I want to be known from being natural, being a scrawny guy, being the guy who's just been picked on and everything in school, to then being the guy who's up there, got his own gym. I want to, yeah, I want to have my own gym. I found a perfect place for one, but I haven't got the money. Um, yeah, I want to have my own gym. I want to be known for the guy who was scrawny, got beat up in school and everything, and then made it. And while I'm doing that, I want to inspire and help as many people as possible. So that's my main goal. And possibly one day move to LA, California, because that is the place where I've just always thought about living. Yeah, that's my main goal for finishing the That's my main questions and answers and everything. Hope you liked. I know it's been a longer video than I thought it was actually going to be. Uh, but yeah, hope you liked all the questions. If you've got any questions that haven't been answered or anything, let me know in the comments box and I'll get around to them. Please like, please share. Head over and check out Gym 7 as well. Obviously, use my discount code for 10% off. And yeah, until next time. Like, share, comment, subscribe if you're not already subscribed and peace out. Boom.